This is the drive home with TT for the Mill Drive Home. Driving home from the Bet365. Great stadium name. Stadium where it finished. Stoke City 1, Millwall 0. Another away day, another game in fact, and no points for the Lions. So they really split our own fan pace. There were arguments between ourselves, to be honest. So at the end, some clapping the boys off, others very frustrated with what they've seen. And I think that stems from the fact that we're not a pretty side to watch. We're a side that grinds out results, which is good when you're grinding out results. And at the moment, we're not, and it's difficult to take. So I can understand people's frustration. Personally, I felt we'd done enough to get something out of that today. But it wasn't to be, and you know, it sets up a, a big game on Boxing Day. I'll go through the starting lineup where Harris made two changes. We had Archer in goal, Romeo right back, centre back pairing of Cooper and Hutchinson, left back was James Meredith, right midfield Jed Wallace. Shane Ferguson coming in at left midfield. We had Sally Cliff and Leonard in the centre of the park. And up front, Gregory and Elliot making a return. First minute of the match. We've got to score. We have got to score. You know, it's one of those where it's a great chance. It's bobbling around the box. The ball's got to go in the back of the net. I don't care how. I don't know how it didn't. But you just looked at that and it set the game up for the rest of it and you just thought that was our beat. We had a massive chance. Gregory, I think Tony Cliff had a chance and it just, just didn't go into the back of the net. It was right down the other side of the pitch, so it was quite difficult to see, but it, it, we've got to score that and then maybe the game's different because we did we did, we do what we do. We defended compactly. Let them have possession up until the edge of our box. Then you put pressure on the cross. And we did that effectively first half. They, were, they didn't penetrate. They didn't get in behind us to get balls back into the box. They were all balls that were easily dealt with by, by Cooper and by Hutchinson. You know, they played into our hands. I think James McLean, Muppet, that guy is, by the way. He had, um, he had a chance. Uh, well, he had one chance, and I think that's pretty much all they did. Not only the first half, but the second. You know, Stoke looked like a team that they done they done a job, I suppose, because they 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 didn't impress me. They didn't create any chances. They done a lot of toing and throwing from side to side, but never looked like opening us up at all. We've had a couple of decent chances on the break, and I go to my man of the match now. My man of the match today without a shadow of a doubt was Lee Gregory. An absolutely tireless performance he put in. Now he does it consistently nearly every week. Um, but for me, you know, he's a, he's, his work rate and his effort and his skill, you know, he number of balls up to him, he held it up, brought the rest of the team in there. And that's difficult when you're playing the position that he plays. He created chances for himself by closing the ball down. And like I said, he, bring, he brings the rest of the team into it. He's not held by the fact that he had Tom Elliott up front with him, who done absolutely nothing all game. Absolutely nothing. And that's where it's difficult. Because Morrison came on and, 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 and done, done more in the time that he was on than Elliott done for the rest of the time. He, he seems to run backwards, Elliott. And, and this team's not going to win many games if, if Tom Elliott's playing up front, and that's just a fact. And it's difficult, it's difficult to watch, and it's disappointing. I don't like having bad words to say against any Lions player because that's that's not what I'm about. But the team's struggling to score or to hold the ball up or to play from the back when you've only got Lee Gregory that he's putting himself about and he's he's working. You know, he's doing twice the work that he should be doing because he's not getting backed up. We'll move on to ref watch, Chris Kavanagh. It do you know what? The ref wasn't actually too bad. We got nothing. We get nothing every week. That's 
that's, that's to be expected. The linesman, on the other hand, was right next to us and um, gave us absolutely nothing. Fouls to them for exactly the same thing that he wouldn't give fouls for us. And the big decision of the game, like I said, we worked hard as a team. We, we created a few chances, and I'll go on to that in the second half. But there's a massive decision to be made. 82nd minute, the ball's played into the box. Gregory goes to chest it down, and his two hands in the back, he's pushed. It goes down slightly easy, I'm not gonna lie. But it's a, if, that is a, if that's anywhere else on the pitch, it's a, it's a penalty. I don't know if the ref could see it, because it was right in front of us. I don't know if the ref could see it, but the linesman had a great view, an absolutely great view. He 100% saw it. I'm not joking, two minutes later, the same thing happens onto one of their players. He falls over and he's given a foul. And it, the ref hasn't cost us today, but we should be coming away with at least a chance to equalize when we could have got that. Second half, it was a bit drab. You know, the whole game was a bit dire. It weren't, there weren't too much in it. It, but there was there was chances there to, to nick it. You know, Aiden's done some really good work when he came on. He's got to the byline. He's just got to cut it back, and I think he has a shot at goal, which was the wrong decision. Then he then he himself has a has, has a shot from outside the box that's that's well held by Jack Butland. Morrison's had a volley off his chest. Gregory in the first half's had a volley in his chest. The goal we've conceded is is poor. You know, Meredith's out there. He allows the guy too much time to cross the ball, and it's a good cross, don't get me wrong, it was probably the biggest bit of quality in the match. He's crossed it into the centre of the box, and somehow Sado Berahino, who's done absolutely nothing all game, and done nothing afterwards, has, has leaped well, got between Cooper and Hutchinson, and seemed to head it straight down the middle, and I, I don't know how it, it, it's gone in, but Archer's not been able to save it, and it's 1-0. And that's what I'm driving home again. We've, we've, we've lost again. Zach, who was your man of the match? Lee Gregory for his work rate and his capacity and his skill for the ball. Okay, fair enough. What did you think of the ref? He was all right, but the lino was rubbish. The goal lino was actually all right for once. Yeah, that's disappointing, you know. Those big decisions that we've had go against us, we've had penalties given against us at the den, so I, I can't hear this home ref rubbish because that doesn't work at the den. You know, we've, 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 we've conceded cheap penalties this season at home and we don't get them away. We don't get them at home, very, we don't get them at home either. It's, and with all with the things, everything going against you and the team not playing that well and conceding cheap goals, it's the only bit of bad defending we've done in the entire match, you know that, it's the only bit of bad defending, we've de defended resolutely, you know, we've, we've, we've cut them out, we've done, we've given them nothing, and then one chance, one goal, and it's enough for them to be driving, it's, it's enough for them to, to be going home with the three points, and that's not good enough. We have got an absolutely massive game. No doubt about it, you know, it, it, it's said sometimes, this is a relegation six-pointer on, on Boxing Day. Now, I'm going to have my uh, lamb and capon with my roast potatoes that my beautiful wife's going to cook for me on Christmas Day. But I'm already thinking about that Boxing Day fixture. It is huge. We, we have to, absolutely have to win that game now on Boxing Day. Nothing else is acceptable. We cannot draw it. We have to go and win it. And hopefully... We've got the players out there that, that show the fight, that show the skill to be able to push us over the line because we massively need a win. Do you know, I've got a tattoo off the line, a mill line, about a, over, over a month ago. We've not won since, so I might, I might need to just try and scrape the damn thing off because it's obviously given us bad luck. But I'll never stop believing because we have got enough, we have got enough quality in this squad that it's just not, not happening for us at the moment. I would like to say thank you for everyone that comments on the videos because it's I love reading them. You know, I check it two or three times an hour after the, after I put it up, and some of you put some some great comments there, and I like to interact with it. You know, if you if you can like the video or subscribe to the channel, it's good because it, it just shows me that it's worth doing. And it's therapeutic for me. I've I've told you before. 
I'm on the A50 at the moment. I'm about to get on the M1. I've still got, what, two hours, 15 minutes left of the drive. I just had a McDonald's, which is why it's come out late. The sun lights it, actually. Zach, was the McDonald's good? Yeah, it was amazing. Good, mate, amazing McDonald's. We'll take that. You know, small things make me happy. Millwall's not doing it at the moment, but Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you for watching. And please leave your comments because um, it gives me something to do. <laughs> Oh, we'll, we'll come back. Boxing Day, Reading, it's going to be that day. Come on, you lions.